guys. Happy Saturday. Welcome, welcome. Let's paint, you guys. I had an interesting day today. We're going to do a modified bloom pour. Let's start with the basics. Um, I went to Michael's in Canada today, Michael's Craft Store in Canada. They have a whole bunch of paint on sale. And so I thought, you know what? They're not usually paints that I use, but I'm going to try them because they were on for really, really good price. So these ones are the Art Mines. Um, I bought a few of these. This is Orange Harvest. And this one is a suede, Deco Art suede. And it is lightly textured. And I thought, well, you know what? It might not make much of a difference. So I came home all enthusiastic about my good hot prices. And I started mixing them with my pouring medium. So this one works with the medium and we're gonna try it. This one is like an elephant with a head cold. It turns into this big gob of like elephant snot. That's the only way I can describe it. It's just the grossest thing. It, it actually came out with a plop. So don't buy that, you guys. Do not do it. So we're gonna try the other ones. They didn't have a lot in, lot to choose from, but I did take, and even it's a funny consistency. I've mixed it a few times. I've added to it and it still kind of is a, I don't know, just a slimy, I don't know, it's kind of a slimy texture, but we're going to give it a go. The price is right. They're like under $3 for three and a half ounces. So that was super reasonable. This is a copper color. Um, it was a color that I made. So I can't really tell you what it is. This is a gray. This is the same Art Mines gray. It's quite a soft, kind of a dub gray. It's not the color, what the color's called, but I thought it was really pretty. This is a combination of Folk Art Silver Shift. And when I was cleaning up my pots of paint, I had a few little dabs of this and that. So unfortunately, the this and that got added. This is Pabio Green Blue and a little bit of Dragonfly Glaze mixed in with, uh, it looks like a violet. Again, I was cleaning pot, so I think I've got Dragonfly Glaze mixed in with a violet interference, probably a jacquard pigment. Well, that's just Fling that around for a little bit of sparkle. What else we got going on? These are going to be weird colors again, you guys. I'm kind of the queen of weird colors, I think. Oh, flying everywhere. All right, quick torch. As you can see, I bought a new torch. Canadian Tire, $10 special. Don't get all wrapped in buying fancy stuff, you guys. This is 10 bucks. If you're anything like me, I make such a mess that... It's not worth buying a $50 brulee torch. Okay, this is a little bit of white cell mix. And just for something completely different, we're going to add a little bit of black cell mix on top of the white. I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know if these paints are going to work or not work, but we're going to try it. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to blow this out. Okay, we're going to give it a couple of seconds, see if our center pops back in, and then we shall modify the bloom, you guys. You guys are all uh, pretty amazing. I, I try to answer all the questions I can and say thank you to everyone, and if I miss anybody, I do apologize um, in advance. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's amazing that you guys all reach out and ask questions and show interest. I think it's wonderful. Okay, so let's just go for it. So we're going to take our kebab stick and you know what? I'm not really, I don't know, I'm not really vibing on this too much right now. So let's just smoosh it around. Smoosh is a technical term. Yeah. It's like plopping. I plop my paint and I smoosh it around. So here we go, guys. Let's take our kebab stick. I'm going to use the fat end and let's just wreck this. Let's modify it.
lines to the right, lines to the left. Okay, guys, now we're just going to do what we always do. We're going to move the paint around. We're not really looking for composition. We're just looking for paint to get from corner to corner. Stretching it out. We're going to go off that corner. And we're going to bring it back. Always go back to center, you guys, or roughly center. Like that. And then we're going to go off that bottom corner. I like this turquoise and oranges together. are pretty cool colors. It's got that kind of southwestern feel. To me, it does. Okay. I'm bound and determined I'm going to modify this, guys, because the last, like, two or three videos I've posted, I haven't, I've barely modified them. They've been so pretty, and it's, it's been hard to, like, exercise restraint because I always think I can just make things a little bit busy, a little bit better. But I've learned that sometimes the best thing to do is just leave stuff well enough alone. Okay. So... Let's do this, let's modify this. I don't like that line right there, so we're gonna take that out of there. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of paint. It's like a magic eraser. Maybe it works better if you actually get it on the line you're trying to erase, but let me, let me teach. There you go, on the line that we're trying to erase. Okay, now. There's a few little bubbles that I missed, you guys. Okay, I don't know what to do here again because I like all these pretty little details and I don't like to screw around with things. But we do have to do something because it's just a bloom if we don't modify it. It's not a modified bloom. It's just a bloom. It's a pretty bloom, though. Okay, guys, let's do something up here. Well, let's just make some funky detailed lines. So I'm going to use the opposite end of my kebab stick, and I'm just going to go down. Eh, I'm not even going to go down there. I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. I might not do anything. Again, I might not do anything. <sighs> I'm not a very good teacher, you guys. Let's just stretch this out. There's some really pretty things going on in here. It's always a question, can I make it better or will I mess it up? Dum, 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 the Jeopardy question's going on in my head. You know what, guys, I'm gonna leave it alone. Huh. Another non-modified, modified bloom pour. Here we go, I'm gonna bring you down. I'm gonna try to do it this way so that I'm not in the shadow. Look at that, guys. Look at those beautiful little details. How can you mess with that? It's hard, it's hard to not, not, not screw around with this. Very pretty, soft, it's quite sparkly. You guys can't see the shimmer here, but it's quite shimmery. Maybe we'll go on this side. Yeah, that's not any better. All right, guys, I'm going to end this here. I am so sorry. I'm going to try again with a modified bloom, and I'm going to try to pour something that's bloody ugly, and maybe we can make something out of it. But this isn't going to be the one. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned. See you soon.